Hello. Tonight we're soaring up into the moonlit skies to hear all about the twilight twit woos of Professor Feathersnooze, a very special Owl of Nod. So snuggle down, cosy up, close your eyes and relax. Probably the cleverest fellow in the twilight skies. When it comes to bedtime, the professor knows it all. And if you cannot get to sleep, he's just the chap to call. He's well versed in the art of slumber. Some say he's the best making sure his fellow moshlings get a good night's rest. Tonight, the wise professor is preparing for a flight. He'll soar around the moshy world to bid his friends good night. But more than that, he'll hoot and coo and trill his twits and twoos, for no one sings a sleep song like Professor Feathersnoops. As twilight falls and crickets call, the prof prepares his things. But first of all, he needs to choose which twit twos to sing. See, when you hear an owl at night, its calls aren't off the cuff. It gets them from an ancient book of sleepy, owlish stuff. The prof walks from his snuggly nest along a knobbly branch. And as he does, 
he gives the world above a little glance. The stars are twinkling in the sky. The shimmering moons are crescent. And tiny fireflies flit around, their blurry wings fluorescent. The professor's going to check his book of songs and learn some more. Tonight, he'll try a lullaby that's sure to make him snore. The book is in his study. Inside the tree's huge trunk, it's scattered with his brainy books, but mostly crammed with junk. Professors gently pecking at the tree trunk's lilac bark. It's hard to make out, even though most owls see in the dark. He pecks a secret button that ignites a scented candle, which illuminates his front door and its little acorn handle. Shuffling inside the tree, the prof climbs on a shelf. It's filled with rows of dusty books and a photo of himself. It shows the day he flew away from Moshi Versity with a doctorate in snoozing and a Snuffle Peeps degree. Flicking through his owl songbook, he finds a brand new tune. A hooting twit twoo classic called Owling Round the Moon. The professor quickly learns the song and hoots its melody then waddles back outside and takes off from his towering tree. Soaring through the moshy skies, the professor hoots and coos. His latest song makes all who hear it snuggle up and snooze. Swooping down on Bliskis Valley, 
then past Porbury Fields. It's really quite amazing. The result is hooting yields. A silly snuffler falls asleep while plumping up his pillow. And then a bunny dozes off beneath a whispering willow. Moshlings all across the land are lulled into sweet dreams as tuneful, owlish night song dances gently on moonbeams. Dainty deer and wandering wumples cuddle up together. They wish the prof could hoot his twilight call to them forever. But now, Professor Feathersnooze is heading towards Cloud Nine. It's where he flies each evening, just before his own bedtime. The puff of squish they call Cloud Nine is deeply mesmerizing. And the owls of Nod who come here say it's oddly hypnotizing. The professor flaps towards the cloud, then gently touches down and is greeted by a moshling in a fluffy dressing gown. The moshling is a cuddly wibble, mellow, warm and kind. His job's to help all passing owls of Nod, chill and unwind. Cause even though the good professor helps the world relax, he sometimes finds his nightly journey messes with his naps. See all that twit wooing makes it rather hard to settle. And Cloud Nine is the only place to find a soothing nettle. The nettle's called a bobo cup. You make it into tea. And if you're passing late at night, they give out cups for free.
now he's had his nettle tea. The professor's heading home. He thinks of where he's been tonight. The places he has flown. It seems the tune he cooed this evening really did the trick. Cause all the moshlings down below fell sound asleep and quick, gliding over nutmeg nook and passing wobbly wood. Our sleepy owl swoops down towards a distant neighborhood, judging by the twinkling lights. His song has not been heard, so he twit-twoos his call once more. He's such a thoughtful bird. The entire world is silent now. All moshlings are asleep. And as the prof lands on his nest, you cannot hear a peep. He snuggles down and shuts his eyes to dream of new twit twoos. Good night to you. Old sleepy head, Professor Feather Snails. Good night and sweet dreams.